I was trying to beating this boredom in Elysium challenge. Also, yeah, you know, for every single boss in here, is so much tanky. But pretty good is they are not immune to debuff. But again, they are pretty tanky, especially this boredom though. Also, when you take damage from this boredom, you will almost die by just one clap. Well, of course, there's some way for you to beat this boredom. I use this roster against it. You know, Odi is super good against tankiest enemy because her poison the buff. Also, if you don't have Uriel, you can use Leona for burning. It's similar with Odi. And you have to build nails. Nails, besides, uh, he can deal ignore damage and pure damage to uh, enemy based on his match HP that need to cost. He also has bleed. That's super good when uh, the boss HP keep dropping into super low. The synergies between poison, burning, and bleed is super strong against tankiest enemy. And anyway, you better use Odi as your captain in your roster. Why? Because giving poison is super super effective for early stun. Especially with Odi that can attack diagonally and have chance uh, for every single attack to give poison one stack. Her chain combo active skill can also give another poison stack. So, well, why poison is so much important? Poison is purely based on max HP, burning is based on current HP, and bleeding is based on HP loss on target. So the order damage that will deal first is from poison, burning, and bleeding. Honestly, I was looking down for Odi become, yeah, you know, unlikable character because her Ascension Zero character illustration, but after she has reached Ascension 3, I started to be like her and her kid. Yeah, you know, I was so much regret that underestimating, underestimating, ah, underestimate, underestimating her. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's why it's better to keep poisoning, poisoning, poisoning. Well, if you can deal burning, it's also pretty good too. Until the HP on boss becomes so much low. But anyway, giving bleeding is also worth for every single turn that if your uh, active skill on nails is ready to use. Yeah, honestly. Nails as four star character, it's so much insane. Whoever designed this, I will give you double thumbs up. I know that getting Odi is not that easy, but for Leona, you can pick it on selector on achievement. And another one is Nails, is yeah, you can only get him on gacha, but he's four star, he's supposed to be easy to get off. A hundred thousand damage, holy shit. <laughs> this boss has more than one million HP. That was insane. But I'm not stopped right there. I wanna face this rabbit Shar and self. They are already on rabbit stat, they are immediately become annoying for their skill become much wider and yeah, and their damage also can be underestimated. So you better bring at least one healer. And you know, the power of one dollar, this Pilisa is so much good. She can teleport without limit and she can heal around the target uh, where you teleport. And even she only have that two ability, but it's super, super good. The power of one dollar that I can say she's on triple S tier, okay. Or maybe double S tier. I'm really glad that I can buy her immediately with only one dollar. Even though I was getting her duplicate one time. You are facing two boss in here and that's why I bring Brock. Glad that I can drag them with Brock skill so they didn't spare each other. And the moment they are close each other, I can use nail skill if it's ready. Because this bot boss is same tanky though. Oh yeah, on rabbit stat, every time you use active skill, it will proc encounter skin and give uh, one summon mark in random tile and it's gonna be super annoying if they are summoned and that's why I bring swords right now why? besides he's pretty good for bossing he also can attack all enemies in the field with his active skill it's pretty good when you know at this situation when the summon mark summoned I can clean all summoned enemy in the field your main job is of course again take down the boss with dot effect and another one when you keep using active skill the boss will keep spreading summon mark and you definitely need to stop them. It maybe looks a lot but if you have some sniper, you don't need to worry about it. They have no damage and they aren't harmful at all. 
But if you are out of round, there become the main problem after you kill the boss. To stalling like this, of course, it costs a lot of turn. You need to avoid damage, you need to waiting for your converter skill, dot skill, and yeah, whatever you did. But if you can manage the situation, you will get used to it up. Alright, I'm done. What's next? Double Deathless? I don't think it's possible for me. 